guys have faced sudden change a lot this year. I mean, mm -hmm. six picks, six fumbles on block one out, and you have only five scores. You know, grit, determination, all that goes into it. How do you explain those numbers? It's just attitude. It's a mentality, you know. It doesn't matter where we are on the field. Our job is to keep you from not scoring. Well, no matter where we are on the field, you know, we take pride in that. So, And I think it's just starting to be expressed. I think is all that is. People start to, I guess, start to see it from the stands or from TV, whatever you want to call it. But we just think of it, you know, if you're doing our job, we do it with attitude. The more you, the more you do it, not that it becomes easier, but do you expect it more? And you have more confidence when you face those situations? Um, <clears throat> or is it just doesn't matter? We expect it. Yeah, I would say I feel like any. I just feel like any time we're on the field, we expect to win. Okay. You know. Every single time we expect to win, um, and that's the mindset. You know, it really is. I don't know how many. I'm sure a lot of teams expect to win, but yeah. I feel like we, like we live it. You know, that's one thing about us is we live it. And um, obviously, there's a lot, a lot of football left, so we just got to keep it, keep it going, <laughs> keep it going. When you guys watch film of DJ Moore, why did he have success against other teams, and why did you feel that your man defense today would be able to hold up well against him? Um, it was just coaches, you know, they, they put us in good situations to um, challenge their concepts. And, and in our defense, you're going to get challenged, whether you're in the slot and on the outside, whatever. And he was challenged today, I think. Um, and obviously, when you have a great pass rush like us, I feel like our D-line is like the backbone of our defense. So um, anytime you got those guys coming at you in your faces and you got Nick and DT, these guys are over here pressing you, it's going to be a long game for you. So. I think Nick said, Nick Nelson, when we talked to him during the week, said that a lot of teams have played off mm. and they throw stuff underneath. So you guys saw that and said, OK, if we pressure him. Yeah, we're going to oh, challenge him. Okay. He, he had to earn everything. Okay. And he did, actually. He yeah. earned a few. He, I mean, he caught some out of bounds or whatever, but I was actually kind of shocked. I'm like, dang, he got some, dude got some strong hands. So mm -hmm. um, he was obviously a, a good player, but um, we were the better players today. And thankfully, we get the win. How much of a focal point was it during the week to slow down DJ Moore? Um, we knew him and number six, the running back, were you know guys they like to get rolling. So um, definitely stopping their run game was first and foremost. And then obviously him, uh, DJ Moore, and number twelve were going to be their go-to guys in the pass game. So um, and they're good players. Um, but like I said, I think Coach did a really good job calling plays and putting us in position to uh, challenge these guys. What's What's film study like with, with Jimmy, knowing that he knows you guys can get a lot better, and yet you guys have been putting up these impressive performances week after week? Can you just take me through that? Yeah, it's just, um, Coach, he's a very genuine guy. He talks as if he's in the NFL sometimes, too. Uh, sometimes he gets a little too excited and think he can cover. <laughs> and I got to tell him to slow down, Coach. Don't hurt your knee. <laughs> Stay coaching. And what does he respond when you talk smack to him? He, he gonna talk smack back. He's at least I got longer arms or something like that. Like he always tries to be a funny guy. Like today, I guarantee he's gonna get me in watch and film tomorrow, Scott. Yeah, I bet you he's gonna get me. But um, no, nah, yeah, um, it, it's it's just I guess you learn it from a professional level approach, and then you learning how to um, like we take that into practice. Like when we practice. Coach does a really good job at like staying on top of us, like playing with the technique you're gonna play within the game, execute it, you know. So especially like later in the week. Early in the week, you can switch up some techniques, play around a little bit, see what you wanna do, see what you can do. Um, but by Thursday, you kinda locked in and we play it, you treat it like a game. You know, challenge receivers, um, trust each other and just make plays. You know, early in the year teams were really testing Dante and staying away from Nick and Tyndall, but they're not doing that anymore. That's a sign that teams are like, okay, it doesn't matter where we go, we're going to be challenged of your corners. Mm -hmm. you yeah, I think so. All of the guys are doing a really good job with their techniques. I mean, all of them across the board. Um, so <clears throat> right now, I mean, you just keep. And the thing is, we can, you can get a lot better. Like it's a lot better we can clean up. So um, yeah, they're doing a really good job. I mean, I'm, I'm confident in whoever we're out there with. Um, They'll get the job done. So, and I try to tell them to play aggressive because I got them. You know, we got them over top. So, mm -hmm. play hard, play fast, don't hesitate. 
you guys now have four pick sixes on the year. Is it a weekly goal to get one now, or is it like is yeah. something you're not really keeping count? Any, anytime you get, anytime you're on defense, you want a turnover. Mm -hmm. Uh, and every week, Especially you know, in practice, it's preached upon, you know, so definitely, it's definitely a goal of ours.